Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, guess what I just got in the mail? Mm, I just got the brand new Jeffree Star concealer and the setting powder. I was so freaking stoked when he said he was dropping a concealer and a powder line. Like... Mm. I know these are going to be good. I haven't watched any videos on them, but I've heard really good things about them. And I'm so excited to put these on my face. Like, look at this. Look at this, like, packaging. It's, like, kind of, like, holographic, kind of, um, in the light. And then the star little thing here. I know you probably can't really see. See it but anyway it's holographic as well so I am so freaking excited to put these on my face make sure you guys subscribe to my channel turn your post notifications on and check out my social media links they are linked here on the page as well as down in the description bar let's just jump right into it y'all so I just got the package a couple minutes ago in the mail and when I opened it you do get this little pamphlet with it it has a picture of Gabby here and then on the back it has all the concealer shades so looking at this you guys can see there is a lot of shades you you have over here two color correctors you have a peach one and a green one and then you have a pure white concealer and then the rest here so there are 30 shades in his concealer line I'm gonna go to Jeffree Star Cosmetics website and I'm going to read the descriptions about these products for you guys so for the concealer here it says our unique creamy high coverage liquid concealer formula comes in over 30 shades what does it do helps even out skin tone has 20% pigment and can cover tattoos which actually I like I did watch a video on these but it was his video and he did put it on his tattoos and the coverage yeah it definitely covered his tattoos anti-aging properties help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles increased wear time and self-setting effect keeps you looking flawless for hours fragrance free paraben free and talc free which i like which i think is really really cool and this retails for 22 dollars and for 30 shades like that's pretty good so then when you look here at the powder i believe he has eight powder shades which is also really cool most companies i feel come out with three like a light medium dark but he has eight which I don't really I haven't really seen anybody else do eight powder shades except Fenty I know Fenty Beauty just launched a bunch of powders but I still think that's really neat so for the setting powder it says here introducing our first ever setting powder formula this ultra fine soft and luxurious formula is infused with vitamin C and E with a special blend of Cilicia is that how you say it I'm not sure that controls oil and keeps you looking flawless all day experience the airbrush Jeffree Star approved blurring effect pores creasing who can't relate <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. That's so classic. Currently available in eight shades. So... <laughs> For the translucent, or for the setting powder, I got the shade translucent. There's also a rose, which is for fair to light skin tones with pink undertones. You have a fair colored setting powder, which is fair to light skin tones with neutral undertones. You have a beige, which is fair to light and medium skin tones with golden undertones. You have a topaz color, which is a little bit more rich, more dark, which is light medium skin tones with neutral undertones. You have a banana powder, which is medium to tan skin tones with golden undertones. You have a caramel setting powder, which is tan to deep skin tones with neutral undertones and you have one called suede which is deep skin tones with golden and rose undertones and this retails for $22. I think that's really cool that he has setting powders for women of color. I feel like you don't really see many setting powders that are that dark if that makes sense. I'm just going to start right into it. I already have foundation on my face, but as I said, this is the packaging that the concealer comes in. When you turn it in the light, it kind of has like holographic reflex in it. And when you guys take it out of the packaging, yo, this is probably the most unique concealer I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Like if I'm being honest, this is so freaking beautiful. I got the shade C3. I wasn't sure what shade I, I should get. I'm really not good at self matching or shade matching, but you you guys this is so beautiful you have the star here at the top which is definitely sharp here you have this kind of like diamond handle and then you have the product in here I really like the packaging you can definitely tell he spent a lot of time on the packaging and I really appreciate that because you know you can tell there was time put into this product into making this product so I'm really really stoked to put this on my face you do get 3.4 milliliters which is 0.115 fluid ounces in and when you compare that to other concealers, Shape Tape, you get 0.33 fluid ounces. Morphe, you get 0.15 fluid ounces, which is about the same amount of product. Makeup Revolution, you get 0.11 fluid ounces. So, okay. 
okay it's pretty standard to what you are getting in most concealers so when you open up this product and you pull it out the wand is especially unique i think so it is a doe foot but it's kind of like a different type of doe foot applicator and you have a hole here right in the middle if you guys can see that that holds extra product according to his launch video that he did so i'm going to put this on my eyes in his video when he was swatching it he like swatched it eight different times and still did not have to dip in to the bottle here which i think is really cool so we are going to start by putting this under my eyes i'm gonna zoom you guys in real quick all right so we are up close and personal so that's coverage okay i can definitely tell that's full coverage So I'm just going to apply this much. Here, you guys can see the hole better because there's like no product in the hole anymore, but you can see it is on both sides. I think this doe foot applicator is really unique because you can really like get in here. And I know with like some bigger doe foot applicators, you can't really get into those small areas with your concealer wand. So I think that is really, really, really cool. So I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. And I'm just going to start by pouncing this in. I would say this is a pretty good shade match for me. It's kind of brightening under the eyes, which I like, but you can definitely tell that covered everything on my skin he does have two color correctors like i said he has a green one which will cover redness if you guys don't know green does counteract redness and then he has a peach one which is kind of like orangey peach tones kind of cancel out like dark circles and stuff like that so i usually don't do color correctors just because my skin is so fair that like they always are just so dark on me from my understanding according to his video he will be launching some more color correctors in the near future so that is just blended out that blended out so quick y'all saw i didn't even have to like spend that much time blending it out i'm going to put some on my eyelid as well and you can see it already canceled out all of those veins and we're gonna do the same over here and just like that it's already blended out you don't even have to spend time blending this which i'm really into i'm gonna put some on my chin here and a little bit on my nose now it does say it's a creaseless formula i really don't believe that concealers can be creaseless because for me personally i have really deep eye creases and concealers always Always crease on me no matter what if I don't powder so you can see right there there's a little bit of creasing forming and a little bit over here but not quite yet I'm gonna say this for me personally it's not creaseless but if you don't have a lot of under eye creases it might not crease on you but yeah you guys can definitely see like the coverage is amazing on this it is like where are my dark circles it's like it's like I never had any so here with the powder you get 0.35 ounces and if we compare that to the Too Faced E3O you get 0.56 ounces ounces and if we compare that to Laura Mercier you get one ounce so you are getting a little bit less in this product but it's also cheaper than the Too Faced and the Laura Mercier setting powder so when you open this up it does come in a chrome the lid is like a chrome pink with the Jeffree Star logo and then this is the powder now I did see in his video he said that opening this there's so it is sealed right here which is good but he said when you turned this part the little tab will pop up so it's easy to remove so i'm just going to turn this and voila you can see the seal right here that it's easy to pull off and then there you have powder. I'm going to, and it's nice that you can actually close this part too. So like when you're done, you can just move this back over to close it, which I think is like super cool. So now I'm just going to put some of this in the lid here and we're going to blend out any creasing that may have formed on the lid and on the under eyes. And we're just gonna go in, again, I have the shade translucent. Ooh, it smells good guys. It smells like, kinda smells like cotton candy, but it's not too strong it's very very subtle did you guys see that i don't know if you, it's picking it up on sorry guys i have like a hair on my face on camera but when i'm looking in my mirror here i can definitely see that this is already so much smoother than this side if you guys can see that let me turn down my brightness a little bit hopefully you guys can see the difference but i'm gonna go in and do the other side here i'm not one for baking particularly i just kind of pounce it in and let it be that definitely looks super super good and i actually don't mind the smell i don't really like fragrance products but this actually smells 
smells like really really good now it is on my eyelid this coming up like white like I, I know you guys can see that like I look very white right now so um, I might try to get the fairer version as well because it's kind of like skin colored but I'm actually like really into translucent setting powders to set my face so I'm gonna do this side with the beauty blender and then I'm gonna do the rest of my face with a brush just to see like the difference that it has I don't know about y'all but I can actually really see the difference in my skin I powdered this side of my face already and you can see at least I hope you guys can see I know I can see in my mirror that it's very smooth very very smooth and then this side I can still you know I can see my pores here I have some pores here on my nose but here I don't really think that you can see those if that makes sense so I'm gonna go in and like I said I'm gonna use a brush and I, this is just a Noda brush Moda brush it's like a big powder brush and I'm just going to tap this all over my face to set our oh I like ingested it y'all <laughs> I do feel like I have to use like a lot of product because like you don't get much product you do get a, a lot of product but like I feel like I'm going through it very fast but okay you guys so this is the face don't mind my nose my nose is like a little bit dry right now and I don't know why because I'd be exfoliating and moisturizing 24 7 it actually looks really really freaking good like I'm honestly impressed with how freaking bomb my skin looks right now and I'm not just saying that because it's Jeffree Star like this video is not sponsored all of my opinions are my own but I do think that this looks really 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 pretty my skin it's not sticky it feels very soft again my nose like I said for some reason concealer and powder does not go well on my nose like ever I'm really really impressed with this you guys so I picked up some products from Ulta over the past couple weeks that I want to use I picked up a new highlighter that I want to use and this highlighter is from I Heart Revolution I saw this highlighter on Daisy Marquez's video but hers was the rose gold version which I think would be too dark for me so I got the chocolate elixir glow and I'm really really excited to try this highlighter but first I'm just going to contour bronze and put some blush on just to see how product uh, applies over top of this concealer and powder. So bronzer, I went in with the L'Oreal Bronze It bronzer. This blended pretty good over it. It's not patchy. It's not taking away the concealer and powder that I have underneath, which is really good. And then with blush, same thing. I don't see any patchiness or I don't see any of the product underneath getting removed. So now I'm going to go in with this highlighter. Like I said, this is what the highlighter looks like. It honestly looks so blinding. And I'm just going to go in with a Morphe R36 brush. And I'm actually just going to take the light shade here. Ooh, that is beautiful. Wow, that is so pretty for drugstore. Definitely is glittery, but it is so beautiful. All right, you guys. So my thoughts on the concealer and powder, I actually really like them. I'm just going to be straightforward with you guys. I'm just going to be honest. I really like them. The concealer, definitely full coverage. I see where he was going with the with the little hole in the doe foot applicator. I think that's really unique. I've never seen a product like a wand look like that. So I think that's really cool. And I'm really proud of him for coming out with his concealer and his new powder line. I love the packaging. I think it's so luxurious and it looks so expensive because you have the diamond here and you have the star at the top, which is very, very sharp. And it's pretty sturdy too. Like I don't see it breaking. And I do really like the formula. It covered, like I did not have to keep going back in to get product out. I hate when I have to do that for concealers, but it covered my dark circle and it blended in like three seconds so you don't have to spend like 10 minutes trying to blend it out because it dries so fast like that didn't do this it blended immediately for the powder I do like this translucent powder I think that it like on my eyelids here you can see that they're it's kind of like a white flashback in a way but I don't believe these are supposed to give flashback but it definitely set my face it blurred my pores like it said it would and it just overall makes my face look really smooth it kind of it's kind of like you have a filter on your face which I really really like and 
$22 for a setting powder and concealer. I personally don't think that's too bad for like high end. I consider Jeffree Star Cosmetics high end. Yeah, I'm so happy he came out with these. I think my skin looks so freaking good and I think that your skin will look good too if you decide to purchase these. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys love the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Definitely recommend these. The highlighter, I love it. I saw Daisy's video and I just knew I had to get it because she loved it and her skin looks so good with it on. I think for $7, that is a blinding highlighter. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit your notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I upload twice a week and make sure you check out my social media links. They are linked down in the description bar. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.